Control your thoughts to get what you want. So far, we have discussed that to get what you want, you need to identify what you really want, set exciting goals, create a plan to achieve your goals. Once you have done these three things, you will be so far ahead of the vast majority of people. Now, it is time for you to take action to achieve what you really want, and this is by far the hardest thing to do. Do you remember what we told you about taking action on a daily basis, strengthening your subconscious mind? Not only that, but your subconscious will see that you are serious and will help you get what you want. Use your subconscious mind to your advantage. You may not realize this, but your subconscious mind is an all-conquering tool that you need on your side to overcome the challenges that lay ahead. It will provide you with much-needed intuition about how to tackle all of your problems. Your thoughts are responsible for where you are today. Whatever you have or don't have in your life right now is down to your previous thoughts. So, what do you think you need to change to get what you really want? That's right, you need to change your thoughts. And it is not just about changing your thoughts either. You need to control them if you want success. Is it easy? No, it isn't. Is it possible? Yes, it certainly is. You have two minds which are conscious and subconscious minds. Also within you are two opposing forces. We call these your higher and lower self. More on this in a bit. Your subconscious mind is so powerful that it can provide you with everything that you need to get what you want. But there is a downside. If you do not control your thoughts properly, then your subconscious mind can make you give up. So how do you stop this? It is a simple matter of controlling what goes into your subconscious mind and what stays out. You are in control of your thoughts. Always remember that you are in control of your thoughts. So if that is the case, you can ensure that only the right things enter your subconscious mind. How do you do that? Well, listen on and we will tell you. Before we get into thought control, let's take a look at your two opposing forces that we call your higher self and your lower self. These are best explained by way of examples. Your higher self. This is the force within you that compels you to do the right things. You have a lot of tasks to complete in the pursuit of what you really want, and your higher self provides the energy for you to tackle all of these tasks. Your lower self. This is the force within you that looks for the path of least resistance. If you let your lower self dominate your life, as many people do, then instead of getting on with your daily tasks, you will sit on the couch and waste your life watching TV or spending hours on social media. So how do you ensure that your higher self is uppermost and your lower self is kept well down? You can never completely get rid of this force. The answer is that you need to control your thoughts. How you can control your thoughts. Have you ever had a negative thought? Well, of course you have. We all have negative thoughts every day. These negative thoughts will totally destroy your dreams and will prevent you getting what you really want. So what can you do about this? The answer is to neutralize your negative thoughts with positive ones. Yes, it is that simple. The practice is a little more difficult, of course, but the effort and persistence will pay off for you and you will be able to get what you want. Negative people always end up with things that they don't want in their life. Positive people are far more likely to get what they want. So which one do you want to be? Most people are somewhere in the middle of being negative and positive. Use the techniques in this training to swing over to the positive side. The reason that negative people get things that they don't want is because of the law of attraction. This is a powerful life law that we will discuss in another video. For now, just believe that positivity is the way to go if you want to get the things that you really want. Getting rid of the negativity in your life. If you really want to get what you want, you're going to have to be more selfish. All of us have people in our family and friend circle that are negative. These people spend as much time as they can complaining about everything. It is always someone else's fault, of course. Each time that you are in the company of these people, their negativity will have an impact on you. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can develop the mental toughness needed to make sure that any negativity does not affect you and throw you off course. Until you get to that point, you need a way to deal with the negativity of others. It is ridiculous for us to suggest that you never meet with these people ever again. Some of them will be loved family members and friends that you have had for years. But we do recommend that you cut down the amount of time that you spend with them. When you are in their company and they start to question what you are doing, then you need to handle this correctly if they make negative comments and criticisms. So if anyone says to you, you will never be able to do that, immediately neutralize this by thinking, I can do anything. The other good way to deal with negativity of others is just to treat what they say as their opinion. Everyone has opinions, and some people love trying to force these on you. So, when you hear something negative, just think to yourself, this is just their opinion, and they are not right. Not all criticism is bad, of course. 
If someone that you respect tries to give you constructive criticism about the way that you are doing something, then always be prepared to listen. When you believe the criticism to be unjustified, then just think, this is just their opinion and they are not right. But if there's something valuable to you in the criticism, then thank the person for pointing it out. As an example, you may have decided to hire a mentor to help you get what you really want. This person has done what you are trying to do, so you need to listen to what they tell you. It is your choice whether you accept their advice or not. Another thing that we strongly recommend that you avoid is spending hours on social media. There are a ton of negative message out there in the social space. You may think that you can handle it, but in the beginning, this can be really tough for you. We are not saying never use social media, but just cut down the time that you spend on it. What about the news on TV? Some people just cannot miss the news and are happy to soak up all of the negativity that it brings. Our advice is to stop watching the news, especially first thing in the morning. Don't start your day off with lots of negative messages surrounding you. How to control your thoughts. If you receive a negative comment from another person, then you are less likely to believe this and internalize it than if it is a negative thought that just pops up in your head. This is because you trust yourself more than you do anyone else. So, if you suddenly think, I cannot do this, it is going to have much more of an impact than someone else telling you the same thing. What you need to do here is act on this negative thought immediately by thinking, I can do anything and I will figure this out, or something similar. You do not want the negative thought, I can't do this, entering and embedding itself in your subconscious mind. If you don't neutralize thoughts like this, then your subconscious will start believing that you can't do a lot of things, which will have devastating consequences for you. Did you ever wonder why some negative thoughts just seem to dominate you? This happens to everyone, and the reason is that you are focusing on the problem rather than the solution. If you are having some financial problems and you don't have enough money for the rent, then focusing on this problem will sap your energy and make you weak. All of the time you will be thinking about not having the money to pay the rent. The answer to this is to focus on a solution. Ask yourself, what are the best ways for me to find the money to pay the rent? Your subconscious mind will help you by providing some ideas. When you do this, you will free yourself from the negative spiral that you were in. You will have more energy to tackle the problem and come up with the right solution. So each time that you are up against it, always focus on a solution rather than the problem. Stop living in the past. Far too many people dwell in the past and let this rule their future. Just because you failed at something in the past does not mean that you will always fail at it in the future. We have all done this. There is something stopping us from doing what we need to do, and we let our past convince us that we will never overcome this problem. This sends entirely the wrong message to your subconscious mind. It strengthens the belief that you tried it once and failed, and therefore you will always fail at it. Do you have a habit of giving up on new things easily? If you do, this is because you have always done this. You are letting your past influence your future. So how can you leave your past behind? Again, it is all about controlling your thoughts. When you're going to start something new and a thought comes into your head like, I will not stick at this for long, then neutralize this immediately with something like, it doesn't matter that I gave up on things easily before. Now I will see them through. It is going to take persistent effort to make this work for you. There is no magic spell or overnight fix to control your thoughts. After a fairly short time of neutralizing your negative thoughts, you will find that you have a much more positive outlook on life. This is the first sign that you are taking control of your thoughts. Positive Affirmations A lot of people laugh at the idea of using positive affirmations each day, but this is one of the best ways that you can make the transition from negative thinking to positive thinking. Even the most successful people have self-doubts and think negatively about themselves. But in an instant, they can snap out of the state and get back on the positive trail. So, what we recommend you do is spend some time thinking about your weaknesses. This may sound negative, but please bear with us here. Write down those weaknesses and then write a positive affirmation around each of them. If you believe that one of your weaknesses is to give up on new things too easily, then you can create a positive affirmation that says, I never give up and always see things through until the end. Or maybe you are easily distracted, so an affirmation could be, I am laser focused on getting what I want and I will not let any distractions get in my way. Create your list of positive affirmations and then use them at least twice a day. Read them out loud when you get up and again before you go to sleep at night. Over time, this will make a massive impact on your positivity and you will develop the power to do anything that you want. In the next video, we will discuss how you can develop mental toughness that will help you get what you really want. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.